Hi guys, it is a miserably hot and sticky Thursday, June 14th, 2012, which means a couple of things. One thing you might not know, uh, today is the birthday of the U.S. Army. So I have worn my Keep the U.S. Army out of South Austin t-shirt. A uh, product of the South Austin Patriots to celebrate that momentous occasion in this country's development. And probably not so coincidentally, June 14th, as you probably know by all the old glories waving around your neighborhood, is Flag Day. Flag Day. I do not own a, own a flag uh, to celebrate. So what I have instead is a patriotic bow. It says right here, Americana, $1.50 for my patriotic bow. Uh, distributed by Family Dollar Services Incorporated from Charlotte, North Carolina, USA, made in China. And needless to say, it is made in China of plastic, a, which of course is a fossil fuel derivative. So uh, I will be uh, setting this patriotic bow aflame in a few minutes, but first I need to go through my long-winded rant. You know, this is the first June 14th I've been in the U.S. since 2008, so this will be my first ever Flag Day rant uh, here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Um, but actually, I guess I can say the origins of this rant. Now, I was born in September of 1959, so I was about uh, a, a little over a year, not quite a year and a half, when this the, the subject of this rant was born, when Dwight D. Eisenhower gave his famous farewell address warning us in January of 1961 about the uh, the takeover of this country 1961 the takeover of this country by the military industrial complex which as I think I have defined uh, many times over as a uh, well it's, it's a four-headed snake uh, number one behind it all are these evil banksters, uh, you know, led here in the good old United States of America by the Federal Reserve and their buddies, the Internal Revenue Service. Then we have, as importantly, the multi-billion dollar multinational corporations that have completely completely co-opted every single sector of this country and this planet. They were doing it in 1961 when I, when I was a year and a half old and they're doing it better than ever and more efficiently uh, more than 50 years later. It is business as usual. That's the second head of the snake. The third head of the snake, of course, is all of these politicians that the banksters and the multinational corporations, chief among them, the oil companies have in their pockets. This includes Barack Obama and Mitt Romney, which is just one more reason I do not talk about electoral politics on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. There is no, there, there are surface differences between Mitt Romney and Barack Obama, but they, uh, they're all dancing to the strings of the same puppeteer. Make no mistake about it. And finally, the fourth head of the beast celebrating its birthday today, uh, the various militaries, number one among them on planet Earth, none other than birthday boy U.S. Army 
who is militarily enforcing this uh, bankster corporate political agenda that has gone global and is nowhere, nowhere more alive and well than right here in, in the tattered shreds of the United States of America on Flag Day 2012. So anyway, the, the roots of this rant go, you know, go back to, to January of 1961. The roots get a little bit deeper. I believe it was April 1963 when John F. Kennedy, uh, picking up where uh, Eisenhower left off, continued. He called these bastards out, these evil bastards out. This vast conspiracy, shadow government that runs this country and was running it in 1963 and then uh, I guess I had just, uh, it's probably right around my fourth birthday when JFK tried to, to back up a few of these paper dollars with silver, with physical silver and a few weeks after my fourth uh, birthday, the president of this fine republic, JFK, was gunned down, gunned down by uh, this shadow government for being so bold as to try to undermine their plans uh, of completely uh, stripping these paper dollars from any backing of precious metals. So that was, so the rant ran deeper then. And, and, you know, I, 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 could keep, I, I could keep coming up with examples, guys, but you really need to go, you need to, to jump forward to the day that America died once and for all. Whatever was left of, uh, uh, of any of the values that the, the founding fathers of this republic may or may not have, have had in their heads. It was September 11, 2001, the day America died. When, you know, and they just, so how far can we take this agenda and, and, and just to have the sheeple sit back and let us do it? And once they proved that they could get away with 9-11, while the vast majority of this country sat back and let them do it, then, you know, then they might as well be spraying chemtrails all over the skies in broad daylight for anyone to look up and see if you want a daily reminder of, of what is left of, uh, of this country all you got to do is look up and see the chemtrails. Guys, uh, you know, if, if I'm sounding a little bit like Alex Jones at this point, it is because everything that Alex Jones says about uh, what I just said, that the guy is spot on, absolutely spot on, uh, when he is talking about what I call the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool and that is the the undeniable irrefutable proof that the the corporatocracy in bed with the banksters the politicians and the US military have completely co-opted every single sector uh, of this country, one, one of the few constitutional freedoms that we are holding on to by the, by the skin of our fingernails is our First Amendment right to sit up here on this rock in South Austin, Texas and call these bastards out, but you better believe they are doing everything they can in their power to, to, to shut down our First Amendment rights when they, uh, when they ramp up their efforts to shut up people like me and Alex Jones. And the day is coming, 
and I am going, as, as an American, I am going to take full advantage of one of the few constitutional rights I have left in this country is, is to sit here and add my tiny little voice into spreading the word about what is going on here. And, uh, and, and I've, I spend my life offering specific details, which I don't even need to go into here, or I could spend the next uh, 100 years on this rock. As far as the shallow end of the doomsday prophecy pool is concerned, guys, yes, the United States of America is finished. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, 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 it has been finished since September 11, 2001, if not 50 years before then. And uh, as we go into this newest election, uh, you can see that it's business as usual on this planet. Looking forward to the next four years, it doesn't, it doesn't make a damn bit of difference whether Barack Obama or Mitt Romney uh, wins the ticket to the White House, which is, which is one more reason I'm not voting this year. Uh, so that's it for the shallow end of the the doomsday prophecy pool, which is which is the easy end to swim around in and and just blame all of these big bad meanie planet eating uh, constitutional right killing. Uh, multinational corporations and banksters and militaries and politicians that's the easy part and for people like Alex Jones who want to stop their analysis of the situation and look and don't look into the much deeper more important end of the doomsday prophecy pool then then this find it just stop right there but I choose not to stop right there. I choose to dig a little deeper into the rabbit hole, to swim a little bit deeper into the doomsday prophecy uh, pool, and that is where I need to, to lay the blame it, where it belongs every bit as much, every bit as much with the, uh, with, the four-headed beast, and that is with each and every single one of us in the United States of America on Flag Day, uh, including everyone waving their flag in front of their house today, uh, and, and that is our own personal responsibility for this part in the mess. The reason that the corporatocracy has been so successful in co-opting every value that this uh, Chinese-made plastic patriotic bow stands for is because we have not only allowed it through our ignorance our indifference and our denial, but we have actively encouraged it and we continue to encourage it every single time we buy one of their made in China plastic bauble pieces of crap. And particularly when we pay for it on our credit cards. It is our consumer and lifestyle choices that is keeping these bastards in business. And the 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 fact that they you know how they get away with with uh, with this shit and continue to do this is just a continuation of my Memorial Day rant about the U.S. Army's main purpose in life is to defend your right to drive that gas-sucking car is uh, that, uh, that Americans vote with their wallet 
more than their conscience. Their conscience goes right out the window and down the toilet when they have to make a de decision uh, between buying this crap from China at Walmart or paying a little bit more money to keep the jobs here in America and, and bringing some quality back into the equation every time they're gonna make they're gonna make that choice and that is why on Memorial Day that a hell of a lot of Americans were more concerned about the price of a gallon of gas than they were about the US soldiers who died defending their right to drive that gas sucking car with the cheap gasoline in it. Uh, this is the reason. It, 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 is, it is our out of control, over the top lust for this worthless crap from the patriotic bow right up to your gas sucking car and everything uh, in between that, that has brought this country down and is bringing this planet down. This entire planet is following this country right down the toilet. And we have, and, and you can blame all those blue meanie planet eating corporations for doing so. Or you can look in the damn mirror and ask yourself, how am I part of this? What can I do in my own life, in my teeny weeny little life, to reverse this trend? And, and the only advice I can, uh, I, I can offer guys is to do what I do, and in every aspect that is possible in your life, is to refuse to play their game. As long as we are supporting these bastards with our lifestyle and consumer choices and paying for it on our credit cards, uh, it is going to be business as usual in the dismantlement of the United States of America and the rest of this planet. And I'm taking this as a little warning from Mother Earth, from Mother Earth that the American consumer of crap like this patriotic bow from China uh, are, 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 are coloring out of the lines. We're coloring out of the damn lines with our little red, white, and blue crayons covering up the green. And with that, I am going to uh, take some fossil fuels from my made in China plastic 97 cent lighter and see if I can set this little patriotic bow aflame as I try to recite the ham bone hump the dump the tribe pledge of allegiance Okay, here we go, guys. As my as my patriotic bow burns, here is my pledge of allegiance. I, hand on little tail of Humpty Dumpty tribe, do hereby pledge no allegiance to the made in China plastic patriotic bow insulting the flag of the former United States of America and to the corporatocracy for which it stands. One giant Walmart under mass delusion with suspicion and surveillance of all. And as the patriotic bow burns on my rock, 
I say to you, happy birthday to the U.S. Army, happy Flag Day, and bye guys. Looks like the damn Statue of Liberty, don't it? There you go. The Humpty Dumpty Statue of Liberty. You go, girl. Burn that torch, girl.